Hi everyone and welcome to another painting tutorial. So today I'll be taking you through how I painted this uh, eradicator uh, of the Covenant of Fire Space Marine chapter. So at the time I really just felt like um, painting an orange Space Marine and uh, this is the one of the ones that I could find. So I thought I'd go ahead and do this one. So over a Wraithbone undercoat, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply um, approximately a, roughly a 50-50 mix of Griffhound Orange and Contrast Medium. Uh, so just all over the armor panels. And as you can see, I've also filled in the parts that are going to be uh, black. So, uh, well, not necessarily all black, but uh, for example, like the golden arm, but um, I just like to, to do that, um, just to sort of gauge um, all of the parts um, that will be of a different color to the armor, of course. So now that the contrast uh, is done, I'm just gonna use some uh, Troll Slayer Orange. Now, essentially just focusing over um, all of the armor, but leaving the recesses with the Griffhound orange. And uh, the reason I went with half uh, medium is uh, after just doing a few little tests, um, it just worked out to be a lot, a uh, lot easier to apply the uh, Troll Slayer orange quite smoothly over the um, Griffhound uh, orange contrast. And as the edge highlight, I decided I wanted uh, more of a pale sort of orange, and I decided to use Luganath Orange from Citadel. It's a really, really beautiful color. Highly recommend uh, checking out some of the more pale colors by Citadel. As um, personally, I don't really feel like, feel as though I see them often enough. Um, they're really stunning colors, though. Uh, Dawn Yellow is another one, for example. So essentially just follow uh, what I'm showing you here over the entirety of the miniature. So with the armor now done, I decided to move on to the flesh. Now, originally I was going to keep a separate video for um, painting faces, and I do intend on doing faces in a separate tutorial. Uh, however, I do want to get a little bit more practice in. Um, as at the time of painting this, uh, it's not that I was necessarily unhappy with it, uh, but I have actually improved um, quite a bit uh, as I have gotten more practice in with faces. So. Once I'm uh, feeling a little bit more confident with that, I'll definitely be doing um, some uh, tutorials on how I paint um, faces for Space Marines and uh, potentially other models as well. So just a really simple coat of Gilliman Flesh there. And uh, while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm just gonna move on to some German Grey by Vallejo and uh, essentially just following um, that over the black uh, so on the gun. And of course, just the uh, ammunition patches. So 
So as you can see, I've already filled in the eyes, um, uh, the shadow of the eyes, I should say, just with some black, uh, Vallejo black, but any black will do just fine. And uh, just filling in with some dead white now. Now, since um, painting this, I've actually switched to using Ulthu and Grey uh, for eyes. This is just a little bit more subtle. Um, as I mentioned though, at the time of painting this, I uh, wasn't overly confident with painting faces. Um, but I'll get to the more specific details of uh, how I go about painting faces now uh, once I get to that tutorial. And just going to thin out some of the white using some black again, as uh, it was the application was a little bit uh, wide for my liking. And now I'm just going to do a simple highlight of Cadian Flesh Tone over the uh, Gilliman Flesh. And just mixing in a small amount of Dawnstone. Just to work into the recesses of the flesh, um, so close to where uh, the bottom of the helmet is. And essentially just around the hairline as well. And now just for the hair, I'm going to do a base coat of Dawnstone. And when it comes to highlighting the hair as well, I'm just going to be simply adding some white to it. However, you can of course use uh, Administratum Grey. Uh, or even just a lighter grey in general, um, to whichever one you have. And to once again highlight the flesh, I'm just going to simply use some Kislev flesh and um, just start to bring it out that little bit more.
Now, one thing I should mention is, uh, unfortunately, I did uh, forget to film uh, just putting in the uh, pupils for the eyes. Um, as I mentioned, though, I will absolutely um, down the track be doing some uh, tutorials on faces, so uh, I'll very much be including it at that point. Um, And essentially just follow that lighter grey highlight just over uh, all of the uh, other parts of the model that I've just pointed out. Now I was considering uh, quite a few different colours for the chapter symbol. Uh, after looking at the chapter symbol for a little while though I decided that squeak orange would be uh, a really good colour just to get the outline of the uh, book design. And I must say, this was actually a really fun chapter symbol to paint, and um, it's probably one of the easier ones out of uh, all the chapter symbols I've painted so far. Um, uh, as with all of them, though, a little bit time consuming, but as I often say, it's a really, really great way to practice your um, finer detail skills as well. So again, as always, I always highly recommend uh, practicing painting your own chapter symbols um, as it's really fun and often quite rewarding, uh, especially when you get it um, so similar to uh, the artwork for it. And as you can see, just simply reshaping the design, just using a little bit of black. And just fixing up the center of the uh, book design as well. Just where the uh, binder meets. And I wanted to keep it pretty simple for the uh, pages of the book, for the Covenant of Fire Space Marine chapter symbol. So keep in mind, uh, of course, over black, uh, the wraith bone will take um, a couple of coats uh, until it becomes smooth. Just make sure that you keep your paint uh, relatively watered down for this. And uh, as always with something like this, just be as patient as you can as uh, it's always much easier, as I often say, to get it right the first time as opposed to having to go back a bunch of times to correct things, uh, which I've definitely done myself plenty of times. And as you can see, I've just left a little bit of gap between where the pages meet the, bi the binder at the uh, center of the book there, at the bottom. And I'm going to ever so carefully just begin overlapping some of the pages.
And at this point, I was really happy with um, how it's all looking so far. And um, as I mentioned uh, at the beginning of uh, painting the pages, it's just important to make sure you go over it a few times. As you can see, uh, it still requires a few more coats, but um, if you just keep picking away at it, and um, of course, just letting it dry a little bit as you work on other areas of it, it'll come together really smoothly in the end. Now I'm just going to paint the flame uh, to finish off the chapter symbol. So I decided to use Fire Dragon Bright for this. And uh, as I often say as well when painting chapter symbols, just make sure you have a reference in front of you. Um, whether it's on your phone, if you work uh, paint, sorry, in front of your uh, computer. Uh, it's just, um, or even at the very least, if you just have a look at it a few times, um, sort of as you finish each part, for example, just kind of go back and reference it. Um, you'll find it really, really helpful. Uh, since I paint in front of my computer, I always have the chapter symbol uh, just up right in front of me so I can just keep looking up and um, making sure that I'm sort of following it. With that being said, uh, it doesn't necessarily matter so much if you do it um, slightly differently. Um, that's um, absolutely fine, of course. Um, for the purpose of my channel, though, and um, to show you all how I paint uh, different chapters of Space Marines, I do like to do my best to keep it um, to how it's portrayed, uh, how the chapter symbol is portrayed in the artwork.
And I'm just going to keep it pretty simple for all the metal parts. I'm just going to use a base coat of uh, lead belcher. And Retributor Armor for the gold parts. So just the trim, essentially, of the shoulder pad, of the left shoulder pad. And um, I do do golden arms uh, for my Space Marines, uh, for my own project. I do have a separate video on that. Um, it's just called the Emperor's Finest Golden Arm, if you want to check that out. So essentially all my Marines have uh, a golden uh, right arm. Uh, it's essentially just a simple idea I came up with for those of you who don't know so that I could paint any chapter that I wanted um, and still be left with a, a unique sort of army. Um, yeah, essentially any chapter just so I could paint them for my YouTube channel. And just for the text, I decided to just go with the word fire. So just using my Raphael 8404 size one for this, um, really beautiful brush. I've mentioned it a few times in previous videos and uh, it's very much affordable and a high quality brush. Um, for those who don't use it as well, I'd also uh, don't know about it, I should say, I would highly, highly recommend using the Masters Brush Cleaner and Preserver. Um, a really, really useful uh, tool just to help keep your brushes going for that much longer and uh, again, very affordable. And just to mention as well, um, I unfortunately did forget to film uh, applying the non oil just for all of the metallic parts. So essentially just follow that step after applying the lead belcher once it's dried of course, and then we'll move on to the highlights.
So I'm just going to begin highlighting the metallics with um, a simple highlight of Ironbreaker. And now just to finish off the metallic parts, I'm just going to use a simple edge highlight of Stormhost Silver. And just to finish off the barrel of the mel melter gun, I decided to use some smoky ink by Vallejo. This is an awesome paint for effects like this. And I have just added a little bit of water to that. However, you can just use it as it is. Uh, I just wanted it to be a little bit more subtle. And here are some photos of the completed miniature, so I hope you found this tutorial useful today. Leave a comment below of a Space Marine chapter you might like to see me do next. I do have some pretty exciting tutorials coming for Space Marines using the new contrast paints. Um, I'm actually working on a retro Mantis Warriors Marine at the moment, so I'll definitely get that to you soon. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.